Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2021 action drama The Way, a film that is written and directed by Khalili Dastan and it stars Eli Jane, Kelsey Watson and John Wong. Now this focuses on Eli Jane's character, uh, who's called Jane Arks, who um, is sent to prison to death, basically. She's, she's put on death row. Uh, for killing um, another fighter in an underground fight 10 years previously. Um, and while in prison, she learns a new way from Master Jin, um, a new way to focus her mind and her body so that she can find inner peace. And this uh, greatly affects those around her to the point where uh, they question whether her being put to death is the right decision. Right, what are my thoughts on The Way? Well, this is a film that I, I just kind of noticed. It was actually this morning when I watched this. Um, I was kind of looking through what I could catch up and watch. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll give this one a go. It sounds quite interesting. I like prison dramas. You know, I like um, action films uh, that incorporated into like prison dramas. And the impression I was getting here was that that's essentially what kind of what you're going to get when you watch this film. It's kind of a little bit misleading at the same time. This is very much um, heavy on the drama, light on the action, unfortunately. Um, it is, it, it's kind of pains to actually describe this as an action film because it isn't really. It's more of a prison drama. Um, and it's not necessarily a good one either, unfortunately. Um, there's a, there's quite a few nice ideas floating around here. I mean, what we do actually have here is a um, a central character. The central character, Jane Arks, is a very complex person um, that is adequately portrayed by the actress Eli Jane. She does a pretty good job with this character. Uh, this very initially, I mean, you see through flashbacks. There's quite a lot of flashbacks here in this film. You see see through a lot of flashbacks that she was a very damaged and angry individual years previously with good cause she was obviously a very talented underground fighter and she seemingly had retired and then a tragedy takes place in her life that forces her out of retirement to so she can get rid of this inner anger and that's what essentially gets her sent to prison because um, that wasn't the right place for her to get rid of the anger because she ends up killing somebody um, you, so you do see this evolution of this character. I just, I just think the structure and the way the film was um, presented didn't do this character justice. Unfortunately, we don't see enough of a her past life, b her life as a fighter, uh, c her life uh, when she was relatively settled. When she was, I'm not sure she was married, but she was with someone and they had a kid. Uh, you didn't see enough of that life, so. You couldn't see how tortured this character was and what had, what she'd lost um, and how much it had absolutely destroyed her for her to need to be saved by this almost monk-like character in this prison, this this woman in the prison, this Joan, uh, played by Joan Wong, this Master Jin who's in prison herself for murdering people. <laughs> Um, but she's she's the one who's teaching all this inner peace and all this kind of stuff, um, and she's very very reluctant initially. This 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 uh, other person in prison, this Jane Arks character, but she takes it all on board, um, and she 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 really does go with it and go with the flow with it. So she becomes like this, you know, a person with inner peace by the by by the end of the film that has accepted her fate. It's just there are some characters surrounding her that are questioning that. And one in particular, which has also led me to another major issue I had with the film, was this former partner of hers. And I'm not sure if it was a husband. It doesn't really make that clear where they had this child together. Ends up as a prison guard in the prison. Um primarily guarding her um so he's kind of plotting to 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 prevent this from happening and you i mean immediately you just kind of think well that just wouldn't happen for a start and then the film by the end it goes really weird and really odd and there's like these outer body experiences happening and um all this i don't really know how to describe it almost this <laughs> this weird um stuff starts happening from all these teachings that she's been getting and you're just kind of thinking 
what is going on here? So by the end, it gets a bit... It loses its focus quite dramatically, I would think, by the end. Um, and you're left with these characters who you feel like you should have had a better relationship with or you should learn more about them. And you don't, like, for example, uh, they try and make out like these prison guards that are guarding her, almost like this close-knit group, a bit like the Green Mile, you know, Tom, the Tom Hanks crew in the Green Mile. But they're barely on screen together, so you don't care about them. You don't care about their dynamics or their relationships. Um, so, yeah, it's it's unstructured, it's unfocused. Um, there's not enough here for you to care about too many of the characters. And there was the, the, there's other things here that they should have fleshed out far more. Uh, but there's the bones here of an interesting, decent film. But because this has been sold as an action film, anybody watching this expecting to see a really cool action film, I think is going to be greatly disappointed. It is definitely not that. It's more of a drama than an action film. So I'm going to give this one a 4 out of 10. Certainly flawed, but it does have some interesting ideas as well. So thanks for watching, everybody. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.